I'm going to do a quick review of defensive zone coverage. So, let's see if I can get this a little better angle here. I'll try it here. Okay, so if the puck is in the corner, first of all, we should be coming back through the dots. So the puck's in the corner, the D on this side, you're on the players right in, right in that area, okay? The next D, you'll come back, start at the far post, kind of see where everybody is, okay? The first forward back in the higher levels, well, the first forward back for the immediate play, but, and then the center, you come back to there, okay? The winger, winger, the next dangerous place, and when the puck's deep in the corner, you come back to the hash. So that's the next most dangerous place. And the other winger, come back, so you're in a position of, to cover the point. So you've got the point here, Now, if, they're to play, if they were to pass the puck to this player here, that player stays there. A lot of times people chase. The D in front would go here. You stay with this player, okay? All right, and this weak side winger right here, you are have net front coverage. If the puck goes, puck goes to the half wall, it's right here, okay. The centerman, you take that player. Let's get it more like this. You take that player. The D, you stay with this player here if they come top. So we basically end up with, okay. And everybody's D side between the their player and the net, their player and the net, D side. We have a man on and a box behind. Now if the puck goes to the point, this player's got to go out, shin pads in front of the puck. Okay. Everybody else stays with their player. All right. If it goes across, this player's out. But it drops back. Of course, if it went across, they would probably get a screen. So it may go down, down to here. We'll get the puck over to here. Okay. The D stays with their man there. The center. The center, you're going to come across again. Okay, and it's like so, so you just switch sides. Now the other D will get the puck in this corner. So they put it down here, center's backing up. If it goes, if it goes to the half wall, center's got there, you stay here. Now, the coverage is a man you puck triangle. So you're facing the puck right here. Your man, you, and the puck. You always know. So if your man goes, or your yeah, your player goes, you stay with them. You have that player. Same thing uh, right here. This player is covering the point. Now if their player skates up the boards. This is a play we should, and they do a scissors. So, skates up the boards like so, and gives it to this player here. The D comes down, takes the puck. Okay. So, the center would have stayed there. D comes down, takes the puck. This winger, you have to go with this player. Okay. 
So it's basically man and man. We stay man and man until it plays over. And basically how uh, D zone coverage works. The key is everybody, we, we have to protect the house. Protect the house. So we're, we're, we start from the middle and we defend from the net out. So when you, these last players come back, come back through here and find the players coming in. So everybody has a, everybody covers one person. When the play's over, then uh, you might have to switch, but that's it for there.